It took a college transfer across the country for this cross-country runner to feel more at home. I just wasn't doing well in school, wasn't running well, I just wasn't happy. He wasn't running away from his problems. Instead, Alec Horniker was running toward his childhood goal. I was set on it. Once I left Portland, I said I wanted to come here whether I run or not. Horniker's only option at Colorado was to try out as a walk-on. The step up from high school to college was just insane for me. and it really, really took me a long time to get used to what college training was like. He actively pursued getting a spot on the team. I don't make that easy, but he earned it. All right, All right take thank care you. of business. Not only did he earn a spot on the team and the respect from Coach Mark Wetmore, but he earned a coveted scholarship. Oh yeah, that was, I, I'll, I'll never forget their faces. <laughs> that, that was a big goal for me to be able to not rely on them to be in college. I don't remember a moment when I said, here he is, a varsity Division I athlete, uh, but somewhere along the line he became one. He could probably trace it back to his final meet as a walk-on athlete, when Horniker finished 38th overall at the 2019 National Championships. There was a lot of buzz, as they say, about him. Who is this guy? And where did Wetmore find this guy? He found us. You, you cannot let a bad day, even a bad year, define the way that the rest of your life is gonna work, the rest of your year is gonna work. Don't give up on anything ever. In Boulder, Ariel Orsuto, Nine News.